Hi, and welcome to Flinders University. My name is Melissa Willoughby, and I'm the Country Recruitment Manager. And I'm Mark Charnley, and I'm the Senior Manager, International Recruitment. So Mark, I wanted to ask you a few questions that we commonly get asked. So can you tell me how can students find out information about scholarships here at Flinders University? For those students that are interested in finding more about scholarships, the best place to go is our website, www.flinders.edu.au slash international. On our website, you will also find information of the types of scholarships we offer. Um, in Australia, most universities don't offer full scholarships, only partial scholarships. That usually starts from the uh, first year and it can go through to the remainder of your program. In order to be eligible for a scholarship, you need to meet the English language and academic requirements. And most of the time, you'll be automatically assessed when you apply to the university for your chosen course. That's good to know. Good for students to be able to find that information. How can they also find information in relation to their fees? So for those students that are wanting to find information about their fees, there's a number of places you can go. The best place to go is www.flinders.edu.au slash international. And on the website, you'll see a full list of our study areas. Choose the study area and then go into the course. And on those pages, you will see the fees listed. And just remember, all of our fees are listed in Australian dollars. Another question that we're commonly asked is around accommodation and living costs. So when students pay their tuition fees, does that cover their accommodation and living costs while they're in Australia? The information that we have available on our website on the fees only covers the tuition at the university. So students will need to fund their accommodation and other living expenses as well. But the great news is, is that Flinders is based in Adelaide and Adelaide is one of the most affordable capital cities in Australia. It's about 20% more affordable than Sydney and Melbourne. Another question is, how do students pay their tuition fees? Quite simple. So at Flinders University, we have two semesters a year. Each semester goes for about 14 weeks each. And for students, when you accept your offer to study at the university, we ask you to pay your first semester's fee up front in order to secure your place at the university. And then every semester from then throughout your program, you pay your semester's fee. In addition to that initial semester's fee, we also ask students to pay what we call OSHC, which is the Overseas Student Health Cover Fee, which covers you while you're studying here in Australia. When you apply to the university, you will receive an offer letter if you're eligible to study. And in that offer letter will contain all the information we've talked about today, your scholarships, overseas health cover, and any of the other finances and costs that are related to the university. So we hope that you apply and uh, get that information as soon as possible. So the best place to start is to go to the Flinders website and you'll find all the information around your tuition fees and scholarship information here at Flinders University. We look forward to welcoming you on campus.